Hey everybody, this is TJR. Ever since I posted my reaction video to the Elton John biopic teaser trailer for the movie Rocket Man, I keep finding myself theorizing about it. And what I've been kind of toying with is the idea that this biopic might also be a musical, and I mean a full-scale musical. Now, in my reaction video, I did mention the fantasy sequences, and I did mention what looked to me like a choreographed dance number during some of the clips that we see in the trailer, and that did make me think that, hey, maybe there are musical numbers in this. When this thought first popped into my head, I remember thinking, yeah, maybe, maybe not, but not making too big a thing out of it. But as I thought about it more, it kind of makes sense in a certain way. Reading the comments to that video, I've heard some question, why have Taron Egerton actually sing the songs himself in his own voice? Why not just use the original studio recordings? After all, you watch the Queen biopic trailer for Bohemian Rhapsody, and it's quite obvious that they're just using the studio recordings. Well, one possible answer could be because they're going to have original songs in the film that the star is going to have to sing. And it would be jarring if you hear him sing an original song that is part of a musical number in this film. That's, of course, if this is actually a musical like I'm thinking. And then have a studio recording when he's singing a song from Elton's career. That would just be really jarring. So it would make sense. Have him sing everything. If he's going to sing a song, one of Elton's hits in the film, he's, we're going to use his voice. And then when he sings these original songs, he'll do that too. And another thing, where would these original songs come from? Well, Elton John is listed as one of the producers in this film. He's done this kind of movie stuff before. It's not that big of a leap to think that he wouldn't do it for this film, especially a biopic that's about him. And... If, in fact, this is a full-scale, full-on musical, not just a fantasy sequence with a musical number in it, but a full-on musical, this would be one of those really daring, bold-as-all-brass kind of moves that either sinks the film or raises it to a higher level. It'll either be one of those films that we go, wow, that was such a daring thing to do, and boy, did it pay off big time. Man, that film just, you know, changed everything. Or it's going to be one of those things where we say, boy, I got to admire their boldness, but boy, did that sink. And that's the end of it. Who knows? Once again, I could be completely wrong about all of this. Maybe I'm just overthinking. But it is fun to think about. And it is interesting to think about the daringness of doing that. Because, you know, aside from La La Land, which many people might still say it's not a traditional, you know, Hollywood big screen musical. Big screen musicals have just kind of gone away. Yeah, I know there was Mamma Mia, but once again, that is more the uh, exception that proves the rule. So what do you think? Is it possible? And if this does end up happening, would you go to it? Curious to know your thoughts, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. As always, be sure to click subscribe. Be sure to click like. Hit notifications so you can know when I release new videos. Everybody, I just really appreciate you being here and uh, joining in on this conversation. Take care. Bye-bye.